Would you like to handle your stress and your anxiety so strong that they paralyze you or perhaps they make you want to explode? If yes, stay tuned. Hi, this is Sebastian Antonovich. On my 5-minute psychology channel, I talk about psychology, stress management and self-development. Today, I would like to share with you a technique which I use in the most extreme situations of stress and anxiety. I hope such situations do not happen too often to you, but if they do, it's a good idea to know a way in which we can handle these emotions effectively and very quickly. So let's start, shall we? This breathing exercise is called the panic button for a reason. I use it in these rare situations when I feel so stressed or so anxious that I can't handle it myself. It's very effective, but also for many people it's controversial. So if you are interested in some more conventional, some more traditional technique of lowering your stress, make sure to check out my other videos right there. And if you are courageous enough to continue, let's start. I want you to put the palm in front of your face, like this. And then I want you to push with your thumb the mid part of the palm, in here, all right? I want you to do it for five deep breaths. So breathe in and breathe out deeply, five times with your eyes closed while pushing the thumb in the mid part of your palm. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, if you have done it, you can relax your muscles for a second. That was the first step. The next step is going to be a little bit more difficult, a little bit more complex, because this time I want you to repeat this exercise. So I want you to squeeze the mid part of your palm with the thumb also for five breaths, but this time I want you to imagine the number one when you breathe in and the red color when you breathe out. When you take another breath, I want you to imagine number two when you breathe in and the color orange when you breathe out. When you take the third breath, I want you to imagine number three. And when you breathe out, I want you to ima imagine the yellow color. When you take the fourth breath, I want you to imagine number four. Yes, you guessed it. When you breathe out, I want you to imagine the green color. And when you breathe in for the fifth time, I want you to imagine number five. And when you breathe out, I want you to imagine the blue color. All of this while pressing the thumb against the mid part of your palm in front of your face with your eyes closed. Shall we? Let's do it. Let's start. Breathe in. Imagine number one. And breathe out. Imagine the red color. Breathe in. Imagine number two. Breathe out. Imagine the orange color. Breathe in. Imagine number three. Breathe out. Imagine the yellow color. Breathe in. Imagine number four. Breathe out. Imagine the green color. Breathe in, imagine number five. Breathe out, imagine the blue color. Now you can do this exercise at your own pace after watching this video. But the important thing that with every breath, 
you have to imagine with your eyes closed the number of this breath. So breathe in number one, you imagine one. Number two, you imagine number two. And it's also important in my technique to imagine the colors in this right order. Red, orange, yellow, green and blue. This is a complex technique perhaps, but it's very effective. If you do it right, I advise you to start practicing this exercise when you are relaxed. Possibly in a calm and peaceful place where there is quiet and uh, you feel relatively relaxed. Practice it as often as you can so that in the moment of stress or high anxiety, you already know this exercise by heart. You can recognize this thumb pushing against the mid part of your palm with your eyes closed, with the palm in front of your face, with the, with the numbers when you breathe in and with the colors when you breathe out. I'm sure it will be very effective for you once you have mastered it. Let me know in the comments how effective this technique was for you and make sure to subscribe to my channel to get all the latest videos. I will see you next time.